now we do have enough PPE for the immediate future. Uh, the New York City hospital system confirmed that. Uh, so we have enough in stock now for the immediate need. We're still shopping for ventilators all across uh, the country. We need more. We have approved a technology that allows one ventilator to serve two patients, what they call splitting, which is where you add a second set of tubes to a ventilator to do two patients. It's not ideal, but we believe it's workable. We're also converting anesthesia machines to ventilators. Hey everyone, Dr. McCollin here. I hope you're doing well um, wherever you may be with the COVID-19 process. Uh, I wanted to show our response, uh, our innovation lab's response to, to the COVID crisis. We, we've tried to attack this in a, in a tiered response, one being the face shield, which uh, I'll put a link to the video up here. Our second response is uh, the ventilator splitter, and our third will be manufacturing the MIT event when it becomes available. It's not yet available. It's early April currently. I wanted to make this video about our V-splitter concept. Splitting ventilators is not a new concept. Uh, it's been around for a number of years. However, ventilator shortage is, is a big issue. Uh, as we see now in New York and we saw in Italy, ventilator shortage is a big issue. One way to get around that is to split one vent into two where two people can share one vent. There are a lot of problems with that. Lung compliances, different sized people. Uh, it appears as if these COVID patients are needing a lot of PEEP, which is difficult to get through a split ventilator as well. And one patient may have to be prone while the other is supplying. So there are a lot of challenges. However, when uh, you're in such an emergency situation, sometimes you have to, to do these sorts of things. I'll show you, I'll show you what our team is doing. And I'll click links to this, put links down below so that you can see it. Uh, first of all, we've added some off the shelf valves where we can, where we can direct the flow. So here is our, our V splitter. So this will come out of the vent. So there's two, there's inspiratory and expiratory. So from the ventilator, you can have two of these side by side so that we can alter the flow somewhat to one patient uh, from lung compliances, et cetera. Or if we wanna disconnect the, the, the vent from the patient, we can completely cut off the air and disconnect. This is going to the patient's ET tube to prevent aerosolization of the virus if they were to cough or expel or something like that. So we can do that both on the inspiratory and the expiratory phase. Put this set up, we don't have it yet, but we soon will we'll be able, able to connect a manometer to measure the pressure with the, within the system and also take peak pressure flows. In any event, this is uh, our team's uh, innovative way uh, to help with uh, ven ventilator splitting to help with COVID-19 crisis. I'll put a link to where you can get the files to download this V-splitter and print it off in your area. Good luck and please stay safe. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment below. Uh, we're just trying to help, so give us a, a like if you liked the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're gonna try splitting a ventilator between two patients, you really need to read this great article by Columbia University, New York Presbyterian Hospital, to understand the dangers that are involved in splitting ventilators, how to run your ventilator, and how to optimize the ventilator for two patients. Doing this isn't without a team. Here's our team of doctors and engineers and business people and hospital that is helping our lab put together a response to COVID-19. Here's the split ventilator with the valve, the manometer is not shown, and here's how we set it up in our 3D printer. Uh, we tried a couple different arrangements to get the ideal volume uh, per square inch of printing. As you can see, here's our printing farm. We can print a number of these at a time, up to 10 per printer. These are on the TAS. We also have Creality printers as well, as well as 4 and 3. We're working through the process. Obviously, as you know, each one is different. Uh, for the for the printer, but 3D printing is essential to our ability to innovate and change the design on the fly, adding valves, manometers, changing directions, etc. But uh, here's the final vent splitter, showing a really nice print. But it's not always 
gorgeous. Here's a, we have a lot of failed prints, yeah. resets, redesigns. We went through a significant amount of failures before we got a great design. And here are the designs getting ready prior to testing. And our team went to the operating room and tested these. We put them up to a operating room ventilator to make sure that the setup worked, the valves were effective in altering flow. This is the inspiratory and expiratory limbs being set up. And as you can see here, the, the two bags represent two different patients receiving the ventilation from the ventilator. So it does work and we are able to, to alter flow to those. Here are the final designs being set up with all the adapters and valves getting ready to be sent out. And here is the final package of the vent splitter getting ready to be sent out to a local hospital.